Every composer must find that spark which ignites the creative process. A performer looks behind the notes on the page to discover that spark, to blow on it, and bring the composition to life through sound. Today, we're starting with a piece by Nathaniel Dett, an African-American whose academic and musical accomplishments were impressive by any standard, but even more so for the grandson of slaves. Dett, who taught at what is now Hampton University, had a two-fold mission. One, to showcase the African-American spiritual as an art form, and two, to demonstrate that American music was just as worthy as European music. Det was one of the first black composers to take the spiritual and blend it with the European-based compositional training that he received. This piece, Listen to the Lambs, which he wrote in 1914, just one year after he took over the choir at Hampton, is closely based on the spiritual of the same name. Det's flowery subtitle, a religious characteristic in the form of an anthem, gives us a window into the respect that he felt that African-American spirituals deserved. Like many spirituals, Listen to the Lambs begins with a call and answer. One voice calls and the rest answer. This way of making music is believed to have developed in cultures all over the world, partially as a way to make time pass when engaged in repetitive work and partially to affirm a sense of community around a common belief or experience. In this case, the call, listen to the lambs, is answered by all a crying, a not so veiled reference to the hardships of slavery, albeit wrapped in religious imagery. Though he brings his own style to the call and answer section, it is still recognizable as deriving directly from the original version. The contrasting middle section, however, is entirely his own creation. He takes as his model the famous aria from Handel's Messiah, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Like Handel, Det has chosen to have a soprano sing the words, and though the melody is different, it has a similar comforting effect. Here is our own Kaylee Bolt singing the version by Handel and then Det's version. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd and he shall gather the lambs with his arm with his arm While the solo soprano sings these words in Det's arrangement of Listen to the Lambs, the chorus is humming a low chord very softly in the background, creating a pastoral mood in great contrast to that opening section. After the soprano sings, the chorus repeats those same words, now with a sense of joy. After this hopeful, peaceful, joyful interlude, Det returns to the call and answer music from the opening, again treating it with his own expressive and personal style. Det's creative spark is the mission that guided him from this very early anthem he wrote at the beginning of his career to the great oratorio based on Go Down Moses, which he wrote at the end of his career. That African-American spirituals be heard with the same respect 
given the folk music of any culture, and that American music be heard as Europe's equal. Please enjoy this rendition of Listen to the Lambs, sung by Choral Arts and featuring Kaylee Bolt on the soprano solo. Oh, the cry. 